When you come to Easy Limo Learning Simplified, my name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic decimals, and for this lesson, we'll be looking at combined operations on decimals. So we will try and see what combined operation is all about with regards to decimals, and uh, after that, we we'll look at some few sample problems involving combined operations on decimal and then of course at the end of the lesson we will give you some assignment to help you practice and just to help check on your understanding of the concept as uh, discussed through this lesson so we have our first example here to help you practice just to help check on your understanding of the concept so uh, so what you're going to do here is that you're going to apply the rule of board mass Board mass. So board mass there, as we used it when we were talking about operations on, uh, on natural numbers, we are going to uh, apply it the same way we applied it with the, with the natural numbers. So the first one here is brackets. O there stands for order, which majorly refers to roots, you know, powers, and also of, if you have of like half of two, you know. We also do that in this position, number two, then division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So like in this case, we have only multiplication and division. So multiplication and division, division is supposed to be done first before multiplication. So use brackets to indicate the operation that you want to do first. For example, in this case, I'll be doing this operation first. So it, it means then I have 0 0.2 multiplied by, so I have 0 0.02, 0 0.01, and then divided by 0 0.005. So this one here, I love to multiply both numerator and denominator by a power of 10 that will make the denominator here whole number. So that, that will be 1,000. So you multiply this by 1,000. That will make the denominator a whole number. So then I, I, if I simplify that further, we have 0 0.2 multiplied. Remember, multiplication by 1,000 moves the decimal point to the right, a number of steps that is equivalent to the number of zeros. So we'll have one, two, three. So we need to add another zero here. That will be 10. Again, one, two, three. So that will be five. So if you simplify that, what you have is two. So 0 0.2 by two. So we have one decimal place here. You add zero number of decimal places here. The total is supposed to be one decimal place. So it means the answer is supposed to have one decimal place. So I'm just multiplying the two numbers assuming that the decimal point does not exist. So it means I'm supposed to be multiplying two by two. So two by two is four. So for me to have one decimal place, it means the decimal point should be here. So it then means that 0 0.2 by two should be equal to 0 0.4. So that is supposed to be the answer for this. That is how you go about it. So when it comes to number two, again, you have to apply that rule again. So every time you come across these combined operations, you know, when you talk about combined operations, we mean it's a problem that is a question that is having like multiplication sign, division sign, like the four of them or even more. Power, you know, so board mass. So I can't see bracket, I can't see order, I can't see powers, roots, and so on. That's what order here stands for. And then division, of course, is there. So I'll start with the division. So now we have 0 0.03 multiplied by 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.005 and then you add 0 0.982. So let me subdivide this space so that I have more working space. So again, what we did in the previous example, you try to multiply both numerator and denominator by a power of 10, 10 that will give us a whole number in the denominator. That should be 1,000. So 0 0.03 multiplied by uh, this numerator, if you multiply by 1,000, that will be 10. You know, the decimal point will move to the right three steps. So 1, 2, 3. So that is 10. There is a 0 here. Then after 0, there's a decimal point. So that is 10. And then this is 5. Of course, we have plus 0 0.982. So again, we have 0 0.03 multiplied by 2 plus 0 0.982. So these ones, again, if you multiply, we have one des two decimal places, one des zero. You know, we have two decimal places here. You add, because uh, now after division, what's going to follow next is multiplication. 
So we are doing this operation here. So zero number of decimal places. That's going to give us a total of two decimal places. So you just multiply the two numbers uh, disregarding the decimal point. So three by two is six. So for it to have two decimal places, it has to be written as 0 0.06. Then we have add 0 0.982. So this other one, now addition here, I can do it. And this other column here. So I have 0 0.06. So 0 0.06, and then we are adding 0 0.982. So you fill, fill, fill up the spaces left using zeros. So 0 plus 2 is 2. 8 plus 6 plus 8 is 14. 4 carry 1. And then 1 plus 9 here. 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 9 is 10. So 0 carry 1. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So it means the whole operation there will be equal to 1.042. So that is how you do it. So we have this now where we have numerator and denominator. You can do it. Uh, where we have uh, like the, the, the denominator here has, has uh, multiple operations like minus, division, multiplication. Then now you separate so that you do numerator. Maybe let me subdivide this. So I have numerator, you rewrite it 0 0.18, you multiply by 4. Again, we have two decimal places, zero decimal places. If you add the two, total, total number of decimal places will be 2 in the answer. So it's just a matter of multiplying 18 by 4. You assume the decimal point first. So 18 by 4. So 4 by 8 is 32. 2 carry 3. And uh, 4 by 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So 72. So it means the answer to the numerator should be 0 0.72. Remember the decimal places. Sum of decimal places should be 2. So you go to the denominator. Denominator again, you'll have to write it 9.6 minus 0. 4 divided by 0 0.03 times 0 0.2. So again, if you apply the rule of board mass, the board mass rule here, bracket not there, order not there, division is there. So I'll start with the division here. So that is going to be 0 0.9 or 9.6. Minus 0 0.24, you divide by 0 0.03, and then times 0 0.2. So I'll do this division first. So again, this division here, you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by a power of 10 that will give you, that will uh, make the denominator here whole number. So that is 100. So we have 9.6 minus... 0 0.24 by 100 is 24. 0 0.03 by 100 is 3. Then times 0 0.2. So 9.6 minus 24 divided by 3 is 8. Times 0 0.2. So again, we are done with division. So you see again, multiplication follows immediately. So we are multiplying these two. So this is 9.6 minus. Again, you assume the decimal point. So you are multiplying. 8 by 2 to give us 16. But the decimal point is 1, 0. So if you add 1 decimal place, 1 decimal place plus 0 number of decimal places, we have 1. So this is where the decimal point should be so that we have 1 decimal place. So you subtract. So you have 9.6 and we are subtracting 1.6. So that is 0. And 9 minus 1 is 8. So our answer here is 8. That is the answer to the denominator. So the final column here is where now we are dividing numerator by the, by the denominator. So our numerator is 0 0.72, and we are dividing it by 8. So this is just a matter of long division. So 8, 0 0.72. So again, 8 goes into 0, uh, 0 times. 0 by 8 is 0. If you subtract, the answer is 0, don't write. So just drop 7. 8 goes into 7, 0 times again. You write that 0 on top of 7. And 0 by 8 is 0. If you subtract, this is 7, you drop. The next digit is 2. 
8 goes into, into 72, 9 times. 9 by, by, by 8 is 72 again. So if you subtract 0, 0, and then our decimal point jumps up there. So it means the final result is 0 0.0. 0 0.09. So that is how you do it. So if you have a, a, a one like the one displayed at number four, the example number four, what you do now here, you, 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 we, only, we only have multiplication in the numerator and also the denominator, we also have multiplication. So that is treated like division where you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by a power of 10 that is going to remove all the, deci all the decimals. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So if you multiply by 10,000, then the decimals, the decimals, the decimal, the number of decimal places are going to be zero. So let me multiply by 10,000 here. And you also multiply this by 10,000. So if you multiply by this 10,000 here, that will move the decimal point from where it is to here. So it means all the zeros here will move the decimal point. Here there are three, so only the three will move the decimal point to somewhere here. So we have 1.9 multiplied by 32 times 10, you know, because the, the zeros here were used to move the decimal point from here to in front of two. That is after two here, you know, to make it whole number. So actually, actually we have four. So you see again, the last zero here will be moved. So this will be 19 here. So this one, the, this 10 here will move the decimal point from where it is to, to here after nine. So that also goes. So this is not there. And then now we are dividing by 20 again by 38. So at this point now, what you're supposed to do is to, to do successive division. So successive division, this is how you do it. So 19 goes here one, 19 goes here twice. Then of course, again, we have two here one, so there are 16. Again, we have uh, two here 10. So you do it continuously to there are eight. Two here four, two here five. So our final answer is going to be four over five. So you can decide to express the answer as a decimal again. So that is fraction which is just okay, but you may be interested in having your answer again reconverted back to decimal. So just do long division again. So this is five and four. To add number of decimal places, there are zeros. So five goes into four zero times because four is smaller. So four, zero by five is zero. You subtract, that is four. You drop the next digit here, zero. Five goes into 48 times and eight by five is 40. And if you subtract, that is zero, zero. So you stop, the decimal point jumps. It jumps up there. So it means our answer is 0 0.8. So you can leave the answers 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. Both of them can be accepted as correct answers. So that marks the end. We have a few questions here to help you practice uh, the assignment here. You can always attempt and post the responses in the comment section. We'll be looking at them and giving feedback in the due course. Otherwise, that marks the end of our lesson for today. Until next time, goodbye.